All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. We do have a very exciting video um, coming for you guys today. Today we are going to be dropping the car off at my good buddy Brandon's place to get the car detailed. And um, he's gonna be doing a lot of different things to him, or not to him, but to the car. So uh, with that being said, the car, um, this is the only car, we are going to get the car ceramic coated. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna film the introduction of this video and then I'm gonna let Brandon take over and tell us, you know, all the steps that he's going to take to detail the car. Um, I'm guessing it's going to have to get polished, um, ceramic coated, whatever. Like I said, he's going to take over the filming process of the actual process of what's going to be happening uh, to the Type R. Now, this is going to be my very first car that I've ever got ceramic coated. So, um, he did some work for me when I owned the SI. When I got the wrap off, he was um, took the car up there. That's where our friendship started. Um, had to get some adhesive off from where the wrap was left on. So I'm very curious to see uh, what this car is going to look like in the sun uh, after it is ceramic coated. And then, of course, he's going to teach me all the proper techniques of, you know, how to uh, keep the car or keep the coating in the best uh, shape possible. So let's go ahead and uh, back the car out. And I think this is going to be the first time you guys have seen the car uh, in the daylight with the 5% tint. I got to love or I love this Sonic Gray Pearl color. Definitely, uh, definitely my favorite. All right, so the car is now out of the garage. I've only washed this car once. And I don't barely, I think I have like 450, 460 miles on it. So this is how the car looks prior to the ceramic coat. I'm excited to see. I think we're going to get the wheel ceramic coated also. But just take a look at how much difference uh, the window tint has made on it. Now, one of the interesting things was we had to take this rear spoiler off rear part of this hatch in order to completely um, lay the tent down right there I think the tent makes this look this car just look that much more aggressive um, so we went with the tent and then we also did the actual windshield banner I'm like a kid in a candy store I cannot wait to see how this paints gonna look after we get that uh, ceramic coat done all right one thing that i did that i did want to throw out there um we're going to emerald coast pro plus detailing and if any of you all are living in this area and you guys are interested in any of his services or products the link will be down in the description to his facebook um his instagram and his youtube channel so make sure you guys go show him some love please all right guys so we have just pulled up to uh emerald coast pro plus detailing here is the type r as it sits and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce Brandon. He's the owner and he's going to give you guys a quick little rundown of what all he's going to be doing maintenance and uh, coating wise. And then um, I'm going to turn the vlog over to him and he's going to do some filming from there of him actually working on the car. All right, Brandon, take it over. All right, what's up guys? Uh, so first I want to thank Tyler for bringing this uh, beautiful Type R out. Um, believe it or not, it's actually the first Type R we've ever had. We had a lot of people reach out to us and say when these cars are first in production, hey man, I got a Type R and we were super pumped to get them. Never got them, so we are putting the best of the best on here. Um, basically, process-wise, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be properly prepping this car, uh, decontaminating this car, doing a paint correction on here. Um, I don't know if we'll really be able to see. Uh, the sun's kind of going down. Um, you'll be able to see in the video. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but we got some light swirls and some light defects in the paint that we're going to take care of. Um, we're going to be doing a two-stage paint correction on this, um, and then we're going to be putting our Gion ceramic coating on. So we're going to be putting Gion flash on the paint, the headlights, all the trim accessories, um, any of the plastics. We're going to be putting two layers of our Gion wheel coating. Um, we're going to get the Brembo calipers, uh, the barrels, everything. Um, these things just attract a ton of dirt here. Um, you're gonna see follow-up videos of this on how easy these products make taking care of your car. Um, we're gonna constantly be reaching out to Tyler. We're gonna be doing a follow-up video, like first wash, all kinds of stuff. So this is gonna be a never-ending process, so to speak. So we're gonna constantly be doing a lot of cool stuff with this, uh, this really awesome car. So um, we're gonna actually start prepping everything now. We're gonna be getting it washed. We're gonna start doing the footage. Um, but essentially, this is gonna be getting uh, some professional grade makeover uh, from front to back. All right, guys, so as you just heard, this is what Brandon's going to do. So I'm going to give him the keys to the R. Take care of her. We will, man. All right, well, here it is. Uh, here's uh, the opening of the project. So we have Tyler's uh, Type R here, uh, 2020 Civic Type R. And uh, we're going to be doing the paint work on here, the prep, polishing, uh, wheels, 
Um, we got really lucky today. So I always tell people you should wait for the right conditions to wash your car. Don't wash it in the sun. Um, you can see that we got a canopy here. We also have sidewalls that come out. We put those up when need be, but the detail gods have graced us with overcast weather. Um, it's nice and cool out. The car itself, 81 degrees, which is 80, 81 degrees, which is fantastic. I always tell people, um, you know, you really want to keep your car under 90 degrees when you're washing it. It's going to keep the paint a little bit harder, more durable. Uh, when your car's in the heat, it expands, it gets softer. We don't have to worry about any about anything about that today, uh, which is awesome. So nice overcast, no direct sun. We got a little bit of canopy here in case it does start raining. You can hear the frogs going off, so that means more rain is imminent, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our whole uh, wash process here. Uh, prep, decon, everything, and uh, get this thing uh, clean. We're going to document everything and uh, it will be uh, a fun process to watch. So stay tuned. Alright, so pretty much what we're going to do here is we're just going to rinse this down. This is just the rainwater uh, that kind of came on the car. So we're going to rinse it down. Um, we're going to start uh, decontaminating the wheels here. Um, so uh, Jason will get started on that, so I'm going to explain that process to you in a minute here. Alright, so really all that's done is uh, just knock some of the residual dust and dirt off, nothing crazy. Uh, I'll take you over by the wheels here so you can kind of see what's going on with those. Alright, so basically what we got here is you can see this uh, this purple stuff. You can spread the other ones. Um, what's going on is we're chemically decontaminating the wheel. Um, this is what's called fallout remover. Uh, we used uh, Gion iron and basically what's happening is it's pulling all the embedded brake dust, the carbon deposits, just everything that's embedded and trapped in this wheel. We'll rinse this off and then do this again. Uh, you can see it's even on the um, on the caliper here. Um, and basically what this does is this gets the surface as clean as possible. That way when we uh, cleanse and then put that wheel coating on, the surface is as clean as it can be so the coating bonds to it really strong. So that's why we're doing this here. And we'll also do this on the paint. It is paint safe. Um, that'll also help us get our paint uh, super clean right before we're clean. So uh, we'll continue doing this here and then check back in a minute. Alright, so basically what I'm doing here is uh, again the, uh, the fallout remover is uh, doing its thing. It's eating all the brake dust off and everything. You can see it pulling off the wheel. Um, what we do is let this sit for a minute and then I'm gonna pressure rinse it off and then we're gonna spray it on again and then we're gonna foam it and clean it by hand. What this allows us to do is this allows us to pull as much off of the rim before we just take a brush or a microfiber or whatnot um, right to the wheel. So it prevents scratching essentially. Um, 95.9% .9 of the time these wheels come from the dealership from the factory with scratches and defects already in them You could even say 99% of the time, but we don't want to make them worse. We want to make them better But you can really see Inside the wheel here how it's just pulling that dirt and eating it off When I rinse it you'll really see all that dirt just fly off. So this is a great product here <laughs> So now that wheel looks 10,000 times cleaner and uh, we'll do that treatment again. We'll foam it and we'll start cleaning it by hand. All right, it's time for some foam. Let's do it. All right, so you can kind of see that this is more of a, uh, a thinner foam. And really all this is is a pre-soak. So I basically um, just kind of soak the car. I want it to come and pull more dirt off the car that maybe wasn't rinsed off. So I'm going to let this sit for a minute or two. Um, you can kind of see how gravity is taking over and it's just it's just going to pull more dirt off, which is what we want. So now I'm going to change my dilution to foam. Uh, I'm going to switch to uh, Gion's Ultra Foam. And uh, what we're going to do, if I get the tripod set up here, <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to refoam this uh, and then we're going to get to washing. <laughs> I'm just going to have him go through all these crevices here. He's got a fine little uh, detail brush. So basically what he's going to do is just kind of go in there and then he's going to go back over it with his mitt. And that just ensures all these tiny nooks and crannies and everything are real clean uh, in preparation for the uh, paint correction and the coating.
Nobody said anything's easy. So now we got, <laughs> it stopped raining. So we're gonna take our chances. Uh, normally, we would just pull it in there, but we have another ceramic coated car that a customer is picking up and we don't want to back it out just yet because we want them to actually see it when it looks nice. So um, it's really not that big of a deal though. Like I said, um, washing in the rain, it, it's actually the best time to wash a car is in the rain because you have uh, constant lubrication, you have constant, constant moisture. So washing in the rain is fantastic. Uh, washing in a downpour is not that fun. Um, so we got most of the car here. I got Mason just uh, rinsing the car down. Um, we're gonna basically start from this section here and just kind of reiterate everything we did just to be on the safe side. Um, after that, we're gonna hit it with uh, some fallout remover, start the clay process, pull it inside, dry it down, get everything nice and dry, and then we're gonna start uh, fixing up the paint here. And because no minor detail goes unscathed here at ECPPD, I'm going to Picasso this back bumper as well. So I'm just like getting all these little crevices here. Uh, we washed it very thoroughly. Um, if you remember, we had the pre-soak and then we put a thicker foam on. Uh, and I'm just kind of going through and cleaning up all these little areas here real quick. The badges, all that fun stuff. All right, so basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna foam it again. Uh, that's going to be for lubrication. What we're going to do now is our decontamination process. Uh, so we're going to foam it and we're going to spray some chemical fallout remover on the paint and then we're going to take a nano clay towel uh, to decontaminate it. Uh, this being a new car, it doesn't need a heavy clay bar. Um, the paint itself is in pretty good shape. Uh, there's not a ton of contamination, but there is some there. So this light clay towel will basically help get rid of that light contamination. And the chemical remover that we're using is going to help chemically decontaminate. The clay bar will physically decontaminate it. It'll get this paint completely contamination free in preparation for polishing. All right, so basically this is a, a clay towel or um, as some people call it, a synthetic clay towel, a nano clay towel. It's got a tons of different names, but it is derived from synthetic material. Uh, it's a lot different than traditional clay because it's a lot more gentler. It will still remove contamination from the surface um, and like I said, this being a newer car, uh, the combination of chemical uh, uh, decontamination that's going on plus this is it's a one-two punch. So uh, we basically sprayed a fallout remover on there. Um, it's going to help pull some of those contaminants chemically off the surface and then this physically will remove what's left. Essentially now what we're doing is just uh, going around and just kind of hand drying the car. Uh, with a waffle weave towel. Uh, we'll blow all the crevices out, inspect the paint, and then uh, start our paint enhancement, paint correction process um, for the whole car. All right, so basically, we're just doing the last bit of uh, touch-up drying. Uh, we're getting the door jams. We're gonna pop the trunk here, get all the water out. You see we've kind of blown it down. We used a leaf blower, used an air compressor. That's just to ensure all the water out of these crevices and we'll do another 10 minute walk around we'll blow the back down and everything too uh, and then we'll have some shots of some of the defects we're seeing in the paint and how we're going to get rid of them all right so now we are uh inspecting the paint it's very hard to pick up on the camera um the car does have like i said some light blemishes um i'll try to get some photos of them um from looking at this right now you're probably saying oh the paint looks perfect but that's because it's metallic um and it's just hard to pick up with a camera but he's got some scratches uh, floating around. There's one kind of right there. There's some light swirls and stuff. So the car definitely needs a polish. Um, on the piano black, it's actually in pretty good shape up front. Um, like I said, there's just some very light. You can see some of the swirling there in the light there. And we're going to try to knock that down as much as we can. Um, on the pillars, you're, you'll really see it here. Um, you can see that those have all kinds of swirls. Uh, Could have been from the dealer. Um, could have been from you know somebody washing it improperly but that's how it happens it's improper washing um, improper uh, drying methods things like that but the paint overall like I said the camera picks up some of these defects here and there um, I know the, the spoiler it's got some stuff going on here that you can see that actually looks like some respray overspray there so that's got some defects in it um, 
you can see it does it does have some blemishes there so we're going to reduce these as much as possible uh, this side of the wing too you can see it's got like a buffer trail um, so that should not be there that's just improper uh, technique of a machine wrong pad wrong compound just got way too aggressive so we'll smooth all that out uh, you can even see on the taillights here it's got some swirls and, and defects this is probably the worst pillar on the car <laughs> it's scratched up really bad trying to get a shot here so um so yeah we're gonna get all you know we're gonna get this thing polished and corrected uh get it hooked up and we'll just uh you know kind of document and guide you guys through everything that we're doing here for it So basically what we're doing right now with the wheels, uh, currently we are uh, working on the paint. Um, we are correcting and polishing the paint. Um, my technician Jake here, he's the master at wheels. Uh, what he's done is he's actually gone through and hand cleaned all the wheels with a Gion all-purpose cleaner. Uh, he is now prepping the wheels uh, with Gion prep and what this is, it's basically an alcohol, it's a solvent. Um, it's removing any oils or any residuals that might be on the rim. Uh, you can see how clean and great they look. And they're only going to look better once we put the ceramic on. Uh, we're going to be using Gion Rim, which is a high temperature resistant 9H wheel coating. Um, it's going to make taking care of these wheels just a cinch. You're just going to be able to pressure wash them down, spray a cleaner on. They'll almost self-clean to, to, to a sense. Um, but this is just the proper process in um, prepping these wheels. Um, they didn't really need a lot of polishing. There were some light blemishes in them, nothing crazy. They'll understand that they're wheels and those things are just gonna happen over time. Um, so what we've done is we've gone through and hand cleaned them. We've chemically decontaminated them. We've prepped them. As you can see, we have gloves on so we're not transferring any oils on there. And then what we'll do is we'll hand apply uh, the ceramic coating to every nook, cranny, groove, and orifice within this wheel. That way it stays looking great and easy to clean for years to come. All right, so uh, here we are at the uh, wheel coating process. So we've already uh, chemically decontaminated them, uh, thoroughly cleaned them, and then prepped them. Uh, so now we are applying the ceramic coating. And again, basically what this does is this gives a maximum protectant, uh, high temperature heat resistant, uh, prevents things like uh, brake dust pitting and just permanent damage from happening to the wheel, all while uh, providing a very easy, easy way to clean your wheels. Uh, you can pressure rinse them, uh, foam them and rinse them, whatnot. Uh, like I said, this is a uh, 9H, uh, very hard, very durable, uh, lasts somewhere around two years. It can last more uh, if you take care of it. Um, so basically what Jake's doing is he's applying it inch by inch um, with an applicator. And uh, basically what we're doing is we're waiting it to flash and start to cure and harden, and then he wipes away the residue. So this is all done by hand. We don't do any fancy gimmicky spraying or anything like that. Uh, it's all done by hand to ensure that every inch, every orifice, every crevice uh, is in fact covered with the ceramic and then properly removed by hand. So uh, we're going to keep on doing this and uh, we'll check in a little bit later, uh, see how these wheels are looking when they're fully cured and uh, see how the rest of the car is going as well. All right, so here's an example of some fine body work by the de uh, dealer. Um, so this bumper had some body work done to it, and you can see all these uh, sanding marks here. So essentially what happened is they repainted the bumper, and uh, they didn't do a great job of finishing the bumper. So they painted it, they sanded it to kind of get rid of some of the orange peel and stuff, um, and just didn't really buff it or do anything. Um, there were some marks up on the front of the car, too, on the side door. I don't know why. Um, but the whole back bumper looked like this. We've already got um, one half of the bumper done. So you can kind of see that here. You don't see any of those sanding marks. The paint looks crisp. It looks clean. Anywhere you look at it, it looks very nice. So um, what we will do on this side is just basically the same process. And we will use a heavy fiber pad, cut that down. And you can see all, look at all those marks in there. So, and then in low light and an angle, you can see it. But uh, we'll, get, we'll take it care of, to get it taken care of. Like I said, it's just, uh, we see a lot of this here. Uh, it's just sloppy body work, you know, but you can see all those swirls, all that hazing. That's because they basically sanded the paint and uh, just left it. So we will uh, get that looking much better. All right, here you can see after we've corrected the bumper, it looks way better.
You can see on that angle that there's not that haze. And from a direct shot on, you can see that all that sanding marks and we got rid of all that stuff. So uh, essentially the car is ready to be prepped right now. So what we're gonna actually be doing here is now that we've removed all the defects in the paint, we're gonna go over it with a solvent prep and start wiping it all down in preparation for the ceramic application. So we'll have a little transition segment right now, but you can see that it's looking Pretty, pretty good. There's actually quite a bit of defects in this car. I kind of shot myself in the foot. Um, at first glance, it didn't look that bad. Um, when we actually kind of dug through and started um, you know, getting into polishing and we got it inside with the lights and everything, you could actually see that there was pretty heavy defects on it, but it's looking pretty awesome now. Um, this is just paint refinement, so this is just the correction and the polish, and it looks this good. Um, it's going to look even better with the uh, ceramic coating on So. We are going to do a little transition segment here and let you know about the solvent preparation that we're going to be doing uh, in just a second. All right, so uh, basically what we're doing now is uh, we are just prepping the paint. So we have polished it, we have corrected it. Um, majority of the defects are out, if not all the defects. Um, we cut it, we polished it. Uh, so that's basically the correction aspect of it. Now is the furthermore of the prep. So what we're going to be using is Gion Prep, and this is basically a solvent prep. And what we do is we just kind of spray this on the paint and we wipe it down with a fresh new microfiber towel. And what that does is that removes any residual oils, um, anything that's left over from the polishes. The polishes have lubrication in them, like oils, distillates, things like that. Uh, this product here will dissolve them and disintegrate them because we don't want any oils on the paint um, because then the ceramic won't fall into it. So essentially what we're gonna do here is just spray a small area down and just kind of gently wipe it in. Um, there's no scrubbing, there's no, you know, anything hard this is just basically the weight of my hand dragging over the paint and we basically do this for the whole car front to back top to bottom and it will remove all of the residual oils and anything left over from the polish so we're going to do that to the whole car and then we're going to start the ceramic coating process so stay tuned all right so uh, basically we are at the uh, next part of the um, ceramic coating process we're not yet ready to do the paint although the paint has been prepped uh, what we're doing now is we're going to be uh, ceramic coating all of the glass. So what this will do is, as I state, give you a Rain-X on steroids type effect. Um, what we're going to be installing here is Gion Repel. This is their glass coating. And uh, Mason's going to start applying it now. Um, basically what we do is we apply this to all of the glass um, and let it cure, let it flash, and then we wipe it out, uh, all down. Um, this is rated at one to two years. depends on how much the car is driven, how much exposure it has, but like I said, essentially what it does is it keeps the surface very clean, um, it gives you that hydrophobic, you know, when you get to about 30, 40 miles an hour, the water literally just flies off the car, so what we're doing here is applying this to all the glass, and then we're going to come and uh, wipe it all down, and it will be uh, pretty much ready to go, it's a very fast curing um, ceramic, like I said, made specifically uh, for glass and we're gonna put that on all the glass, so we're just getting this process started now. We're gonna go through and do the rest of the car shortly. All right, so uh, while Mason does uh, the glass, we're gonna start on the fun part. So uh, what we are gonna be doing here is installing Gion Flash, uh, which is a up to eight year 9H ceramic coating. This is a super hydrophobic, gloss enhancing, depth enhancing, uh, 9H super coating is really what it is. Uh, it's polyxylosane, uh, so what that means is uh, versus most coatings that actually shrink, uh, this actually expands a little bit more and that's why it's designed for one layer. Um, of course you can put multiple layers on, um, it's something that can be put on later. Um, you know, over the years if the coating gets beat up you can put more on and it's perfectly fine. Uh, so that's one of the benefits to uh, this particular coating. Um, but this coating will make maintenance a breeze, it will help prevent from uh, minor swirling, marring, things of that nature. Um, bird droppings, tree sap, all those environmental factors that beat up your cars over the years, uh, this will help protect against. So um, it's a fairly simple process. Uh, we are in a very climate controlled shop. It's only about 69, 70 degrees in here. Um, so this installation will go very smoothly. Um, so basically what we do is we just kind of uh, apply some coating uh, on our applicator and we just apply it to the pan. Basically what's happening is as you apply this is when the uh, ceramic 
uh, is exposed to uh, hydrogen and oxygen within the air, um, it basically just starts to dry, it starts to cure. Now it's not anything crazy where it dries on contact, you do have what I call playtime. Um, but what we want to do is basically evenly apply this to the panel so every inch of the panel is covered and then as it dries and as it cures we're going to come and wipe it down. All right, so basically what's going on right now is, uh, you know, there's a chemical reaction occurring uh, within the substrate, the paint of the car, and the ceramic coating that I put on. So right now it's bonding, it's expanding, it's filling in those pores. Um, two are becoming one, essentially. So, like I said, when this uh, coating uh, completely cures and hardens, uh, it's very hard, very hydrophobic, super slick, makes maintenance and washing an absolute breeze, and on top of it, it provides UV protection and protection from those environmental factors that we talked about, like tree sap, like bird droppings, um, even from potential water spots and things like that. So um, basically what I'm going to do is just kind of monitor this. Uh, once you apply it to a decent section, you just kind of want to sit back and you'll watch it expand and it changes colors and things like that. It's hard to pick up on the camera. We can see it with our eyes. We've been doing it for quite a while. And I basically hand apply uh, this whole coating and then hand level it. So again, there's no gimmicky spray guns or anything like that. Uh, Hand application really is the best for this. You can ensure that every inch, every centimeter, every millimeter is covered by this coating because that's what we want is the ultimate protection. So uh, it's been enough time. So basically what I'm gonna do now is this is a brand new microfiber towel uh, that we use from Autofiber. And we're basically just gonna wipe everything down. All right, so what Mason's doing here is he's, uh, he's just following behind me. So when we do this removal process, um, I basically initiate it and kind of, in a sense, smudge some of the coating off. Um, and then he's going through with a specialty light which uh, replicates natural sunlight. Um, without these lights, it'd be very hard to see uh, what are called high spots. It's basically residuals left over from the coating. So him going over it with that is ensuring that everything is being wiped clean. Um, you can kind of see uh, on here Share that light on here, Mason. You can kind of see like where the coating, you can see how it's just like streaky. Uh, it's a little bit smudgy. Um, it's hard to tell on this paint, but essentially, like I said, he comes around and follows behind me um, on this whole car here. And uh, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a two stage wipe. I'll initiate the wipe, use both sides of my towels, both the nappy and the plush, and then he'll come through and just basically fine tune everything uh, and get all the residuals off. So, um, you know, the ceramic coating process is something that should always be deep, be done indoors. Um, you know, trying to do it outside, these coatings are going to dry way too quick. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff left over in the paint. Um, you can see it a little bit better of an angle from here. Um, I guess some of those solvents and stuff, so you can actually see it drying and curing. And we don't want to rush and wipe it off too quick. We want to let this emulsify into the paint, absorb, and really create that, that hard protective barrier that, that we want. So um, we're just going to continue uh, going through this, wiping all this down, uh, and uh, this thing will be popping in, in no time. All right, so here it is, uh, all complete. Uh, Two-stage paint correction. Geon Flash. Eight year ceramic, two year wheel coating, one to two year glass coating. Uh, got everything looking really good here. Um, majority of the defects were removable and we did remove them. Uh, if you remember how bad these pillars looked, they are not looking so bad anymore. Uh, same thing on the side here. This spoiler had all kinds of waves and defects and whatnot in it. Same thing with the taillights. Everything is just minty, minty clear, defect free, which is what we want. Uh, same thing on this bumper. I don't think I did a, I'm not sure if I did an after shot of this, but all of the uh, sanding marks and everything gone from there. Um, but this thing's looking, uh, this thing's looking sharp now for sure. Um, like I said, uh, Two stages of decontamination, two steps of paint correction, and then we got the one layer of the high solid ceramic and I'll come in in the morning and put the uh, Geon Cure, which is the top coat on this thing, and she'll be ready to roll, but uh, 
Yeah, this thing's looking everything from even down to the piano blacks in here. Just nice and clean and crisp. Got a majority of the defects out. These panels are really hard to correct, but you can see, I mean, there's not many defects left behind. Um, we really went to town on this thing, so... Like I said, real cool ride, kind of my uh, unicorn for the past few years. So many people were telling me they were getting this car, and uh, it's ducked me, and I finally got a hold of it. So, a uh, real nice car, though, so I do appreciate Tyler uh, bringing it here, trusting us to uh, do our best, and I think we definitely delivered. He'll be happy. So. All right, guys, so we had just now got to Emerald Coast Pro Plus Detailing, and I'm... Um I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about this all night. That he had the car for the weekend and I'm I'm more than excited to see the car for the first time. So let's go ahead and walk into the shop and see the car. Wow. Take a look at this. I think um yeah, I think this definitely passed surpassed my expectations on on what, what Brandon was gonna do for me. You know, I had something envisioned in mind, but this definitely took it to a a whole nother level. Um it's just like one big old just yeah, the car just looks like an endless wetness, if you want to say. I mean, even the rims got coated. I mean, you can just tell just how much more gloss and pop there is to the actual rims uh, themselves. So as you guys saw in the video, you know, Brandon took us through the process of what all he did, uh, him and his team, and uh, I could not be more more excited for, uh, for this job. Um, and unfortunately, we do have a hurricane coming in, so this is as, as clean as it's gonna be until I can get it home and get, get the car actually dried off. But I'll walk you guys around the car and you guys can take a look at it. Like I mentioned, the wheels definitely, I'm just blown away at how, I don't know, all the attention to detail that they put into, you know, all the panels, the wheels, the trim pieces. They even did the door jams, the windows got coated, all that stuff. Here's you a nice little back shot. All right, guys, well, uh, that's a wrap on the 2020 Type R. Uh, I want to uh, thank Tyler for uh, trusting us with this uh, prize possession, this one-of-a-kind car. Like I said, this car was uh, my unicorn. Uh, had so many people that said they were going to get it, never got it, and now we got it. So really awesome car, uh, very unique, uh, dynamic in its own sense. Um, had a blast filming everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, look forward for more videos. We're going to uh, have upkeep on this. First wash together, maintenance. We're gonna go through the whole process, see how this coating's uh, you know performing, and uh, watch this car evolve. Because I know Tyler's got a lot of cool mods and a lot of cool things in store for it. So we'll be right next to him along the way. So for now, thanks, man. Go, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Okay, Brandon, I know you're gonna be watching this video, and I do want to say sincerely thank you guys so much for uh, you and your team for putting in the the effort and all the hard work it took you all to get this car where it was. I know it was a brand new car, and like you mentioned, we had some areas in the paint where you know had scratches and some a little bit of soil marks and some kind of sandy marks. Um, but yeah, I do want to thank you guys so much uh, for taking the time to uh, take care of my baby. I do truly appreciate that. Man, my lens is still fogging up. I apologize. All right, so that's where I'm gonna to end today's video. Make sure you guys go show Brandon some love on his um, Facebook page, his Instagram page. Well, it's his business page, but make sure you guys go go stop by his channel or go stop by his Instagram, like some of his photos. You're gonna see some content on uh, his YouTube channel, his Facebook page, his Instagram of the work that he's done to the car. So yeah, make sure you guys show him some love. And if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and leave this video a big thumbs up, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.